everybody and welcome back to Core Work with Mama. And um, for this practice, we are going to be needing our socks, a mat, and ourselves and a little bit more energy. It's going to be a full body practice, a full body workout. We're also going to be um, bringing the heart rate up a little bit, so working the muscles around the heart. It's not a complete cardiovascular practice, but there are going to be some cardiovascular elements to it. Um, so it's going to be shorter, it's going to be compacter, it's going to be more intense. But please, as always, listen to your body, honor your body, where you are today and how you feel. Whatever does not feel right for you, please listen to your internal cues, to listen to that internal guide, and take the softer options um, whenever necessary. Okay, so keeping your socks on, you want to make sure first that you are practicing on a smooth surface. So this won't work so well on carpeted floors. So maybe you want to find an area of your, in your home that has um, just smooth tiles or wooden floor or marble, um, just not carpet. And we're going to come towards the end of our mat and we're going to fold our mat twice. So folding our mat twice, halfway up and then another halfway. And first we're going to start by just stepping on top of the mat with our socks on. And just to come into the body and come into the breath. So before we start any kind of practice, any kind of exercise routine, it's always nice to just actually first take a moment to just start to go inwards, to connect physically, mentally, emotionally to this body that we reside in. So start to activate the feet by leaning forward and backwards, right? So just kind of feeling the heels, the balls, the feet until you find what is or what feels like your center, okay? Feel that the shoulders are melting down the back. And then you start to bring equal weight on both right and left side of the body. So notice if you're leaning over to one side or the other and start to equalize it. And then start to bring the ball of the feet down into the mat and the heels down into the mat and the outside edges of the feet down into the mat. And we pull the inner arches of the feet up which will naturally start to bring your knees to face a little bit more forward. So if you have knocking knees like I do, right, my knees tend to collapse inwards. This, just by activating the balls of the feet, the outside edges and the heels, and lifting the inner arches up, my knees naturally start to move into a more um, straightforward direction. Good. And then we draw inwards with the inner thigh. So we're hugging slightly towards the center line. And then we pull up from the belly. And we feel like we're rooting down, but we're not sinking. So rooting down to lift up, to grow up. I'm feeling the crown of the head reaching all the way up towards the sky. So hugging inwards, rooting down and lifting upwards. Good. And just be here. And then you take the arms out to the side and you inhale. And we exhale and we dive down. Soft knees as we slowly take, make our way down into a forward fold. And you slide your hands on top of your shin bones and you reach the heart forward. Now you're going to press the shins forward into the hands and you press the hands back into the shins. And what you're doing is you're creating a little bit of resistance so that you can reach out of your hips. The crown of the head and the hips reach far away from each other. And you draw the shoulder blades on the back so the front of the shoulders are not collapsing downwards, but we're opening the front of the chest. Good. and then we exhale and we fold over the left. Bend the knees here, shoot the arms out to side and press up to rise up slowly, inhale and exhale, hands to your heart. So we're gonna do this again just to warm up the body, okay? So we inhale, rooting down, activating the heels, balls, the feet, outside edges, lifting up through the inner arches, hugging the inner thighs, pulling up from the belly, and feeling yourself grow upwards as we inhale, taking the arms over the head. And then we exhale, softening the knees, reaching the hips behind you as you slowly make your way forward into a forward fold. Inhale, take a halfway lift, take your hands on top of your shins, roll the shoulders on the back and pull up from the core. Good, and exhale, fold over the left. Again, bend your knees, rock back on your heels. Maybe you lift up the toes so you really feel that you're on your heels. Shoot the arms out to the side. And from the power of the legs and the belly, we slowly rise up. And exhale, hands to your heart. Now you're going to step behind your mat. 
So just slightly behind it. The toes, my toes are not touching the mat, they're just slightly behind the edge. And again, same thing, I root down, okay? And feel the difference now that's not, it's just a flat, hard floor. And root down into it, hugging the inner thighs, lifting up through the center line, and inhale, rising up through the arms. Soft knees, exhale, we dive forward, we fold over the legs. Inhale, take a half foot lift as you take your hands towards the shin bones. Roll the shoulders on the back and pull up from the belly. Then you're going to take your hands down onto the mat and your hands are going to be slightly in front of your shoulders. And you're going to rock forward onto the balls of the feet so that the shoulders come right above the wrists, right? And you bend your knees and you pull the belly in as you slowly slide both feet back into a plank. A plank is you're pulling up from the core, your shoulder blades are broad, you reach the heart forward, and the heels are right above the balls of the feet. You hug the legs towards the center line. Now you bring your chin towards the chest. You press up from the arms. So you're making your plank round and you're preparing. You soften your knees and you slide your knees in by sliding your feet in. Good. Take your hands on top of your shins for your halfway lift. Shoulders on the back, reach the heart forward, open the front of your chest. Exhale, fold over the legs. Bend your knees, rock back on your heels, shoot the arms out the side. From the legs, we rise up, inhale. And exhale, hands your heart, okay. Inhale, rising up through the arms. Exhale, diving forward. Inhale, take a half leg lift again. On your exhale, you take your hands back down like we did, right? So you, you might need to bend your knees here if you're tight in the hamstring. Hands slightly in front of the shoulders, rock forward so that your heels come off the floor. Now you can either bend your knees and slide your feet back, right? Or by lifting up the heels, you're rocking forward. You pull up from the belly. Right, you look to your belly and then you use straight legs, with straight legs, you slide your legs back, you slowly wave through the spine to come into a plank. Right. So we're all in plank here, you pull up from the belly, from your plank, you slide your right leg out to the side, you draw it back in. You slide your left leg out to the side, you draw it back in. Pull up from the arms, pull up from the core, slide your right leg out, pull it in. Slide your left leg out. Pull it in. Good. You look to your belly here. Either you bend your knees or with straight legs, you lift your belly up and you slide. You slide your feet in, all the way in. Take your half and lift, roll the shoulders on the back, and exhale, fold. Bend your knees, rock back on your heels, shoot the arms out to the side, and slowly rise up. Exhale. Hands your heart. So we're going to repeat this sequence. And same thing, you can choose to keep your knees bent as you slide them in and bend your knees to come in, especially if you're tight in the hamstrings or tight in the low back. Or you can choose to have your legs straight. Okay, so challenge yourself, but keep listening to your body. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, diving forward. Take your halfway lift, inhale. Hands on your shins, shoulders on the back, belly in, crown of the head, and hips reach away from each other. Exhale, take your hands on your mat, hands slightly forward of your shoulders. Rock forward so the shoulders come above the wrists and raise your heels. Look to your belly. Either knees straight or knees bent. You pull up from the core and you slowly, very slowly slide your feet. Let this slow motion wave into plank. Find your plank here, shoulders on the back, heels right above the balls of the feet, belly in. Inhale, slide your right leg out to side. Exhale, draw it in. Inhale, left. Exhale, draw it in. Inhale, right. Exhale, draw it in. One more right and left. Inhale. Right. And left. Good. Now you're going to take your knees down here. Gonna hug the elbows into the body. And not the elbows out, but elbows straight back. You pull the belly in 
as you make your way to Chaturanga, coming down onto your mat. Point the toes behind you, roll the shoulders on the back and draw the elbows towards each other and lift the heart forward and up for Cobra. And then we come down. You're gonna come up onto your elbows, so if you need a bit more mat space, you might wanna slide yourself back. You're going to take your elbows underneath your shoulders or slightly in front, but definitely not behind your shoulders. You don't wanna be here. Okay, so elbows slightly in front of the shoulders and your elbows are shoulder width apart and hands are shoulder width apart. Good, you curl the toes under and you press the elbows into the mat to broaden the space between your shoulder blades. You pull up from the belly and you slowly lift up into plank. Now, if this is too much, you can keep your knees down and can just stay here, right? If you're all the way up here, if your knees are off, we do the same thing in your elbow plank. Inhale, slide your right leg out to the side, bring it in. Slide your left leg, bring it in. Slide your right leg, bring it in. And left, and right. One more time, left, slowly. Knees down, very gently, try not to collapse. Coming all the way down, sliding your hands underneath the shoulders for your cobra. Roll the shoulders on the back, elbows towards each other. Press the hands into the mat to lift the heart forward and up into your cobra. And coming back down, you're gonna curl the toes under and we're gonna slowly press up into plank. So whatever way that feels more comfortable for you, you can come up on your knees first or directly into plank whatever feels better for you. We're gonna slide back into standing. So we pull up from the core, right? Make your plank round, inhale, exhaling, pull the belly in, sliding the feet in, good. Taking your hands on top of the shin bones, rolling the shoulder blades on the back, press your shins forward, hands back, and exhale, fold. Bend your knees, shoot the arms out to the side, and inhale, right them up. Good. Exhale, hands to your heart. All right. Inhaling, arms up to the side and up. Exhale, diving forward. Inhale, take your half leg lift down. On your exhale, take your hands down. Lifting up through the heels, looking at your belly, either knees straight or knees bent. You slowly slide, wave it back very slowly into your plank. Good, inhale here, exhale. You're gonna slide your right knee in towards your chest. Slide it back. Slide your left knee into your chest. Slide it back. Slide your right knee towards your chest. Slide it back. Slide your left knee. Good, we're gonna go a little faster. And one, two, three, four. Lift up through the core, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Right knee comes into chest. Good. And you're going to slowly take your right knee down and take your left knee down as well. Okay, so both knees are down on the mat. Raising the arms up. Inhale here. And exhale, taking the hands down. You're going to step your right foot on top of your mat. Okay, you want to make sure, so you might need to scoot your left knee slightly back. You want to make sure that the right knee, once we come into standing, does not go over your ankles. So you're gonna take your hands on either side of your foot, and then you're going to extend your left leg behind you like you're coming into lunge, okay? So from here, you anchor that right foot firmly into the mat, so come up onto the fingertips. You're gonna slowly slide your left foot in, bend both knees and roll up, okay? So this is the starting position. Your right foot is pointing forward, your left toes are also going to point forward. You're gonna take your hands slowly on top of your thigh as you slide your left leg back. Slide your left leg back, good. You can take your hands down here and pull up from the core and slide it back in. Bend both knees and slowly roll up, okay? So we're gonna do a preparation like this and then we're just gonna go into our flow. Toes, both toes are pointing forward. Slowly slide it back. Making sure the rear knee bends a little as well. Good, hold here. Fingertips down, sliding the rear foot in. Good, slowly coming up. Now, either you keep your knees, keep your hands coming down for support or without the hands, and you take your hands down 
to your thigh. Good. And then you reach the arm forward, hold for a split second, and you slowly slide it up again. And you inhale. Arms by the ears, taking the arms forward. Slowly slide it back. Now you want to keep your right leg firm, your right foot firm. Exhale to come up. Good. Inhale. Good. Let's inhale on the way down and exhale on the way up. Your right knee, try to have it facing forward, right? So it's in line with the big toe. It's not moving inwards, it's not moving outwards. Hold and exhale to come up. Good. One more. Inhale it. Good. And exhale and we come up. All right. We're going to go a little faster. If it's too fast for you, take your own pace. And as if you're going to be running, so you bring your left elbow forward and then the right elbow forward, like you're running. Slide it back, slide it in. Slide it back, slide it in. Slide it back, slide it in. Yes. Slide it back, hold, slide it in. Slide it back, hold, slide it in. Use the core to pull you up and in. Good. Slide it back and in. Last one. Good. Now you're going to turn. So I'm going to turn facing away from you. You're going to turn and you're going to turn your toes from pointing straight forward. The right toes, you're going to move it slightly to the side, right? So maybe about a five degrees out to the side. So that when you bend your knee, your knee's going over the toes. It's not going out to the side or inwards. And now from here, you're gonna take your hand on top of your thigh. And you're going to slide your left leg out, straight leg, and come back in. So we're going to slow it down first. So right and left hand comes onto the thigh for support. You're sitting back in your chair as you slide your left leg out. Hold, slide it in. Okay? So there's a bit more work happening now for the leg. Slide it out and slide it in. And we slide it out and we slide it in. You go slide it out and you can use the arms hold slide it in slide it out and hold that right knee does not want to go over the toes and coming in it'll go slightly over the ankle but it's not going to go away over the toes and exhale slide it in bring more weight over to that right heel and exhale up last one here hold and exhale up you're going to turn back to face forward and we're going to keep working that same leg make sure the knee does not collapse inwards so maybe you can take the hands on top of the thigh for guide first slide back slide in remember you can always use your hands if you need to keeping your hands down to slide in and out keeping your arms forward to slide in and out or running arms Last one, and two, and three, good. And you're gonna step it back and just be here for a moment and just notice the right side and notice the left side. Right side is more awake, the left side needs to wake up. So here we go, inhale, rising up. Exhale, diving forward. Inhale, take a half a lift. Exhale, take your hands down towards the mat. Hands slightly forward in your shoulders. Rock forward, lift up the heels, pull up in the core. Slide your feet out. Slide your feet out very slowly as you come into plank. Now, left knee is going to slide in towards your chest. Left knee slides in and back. Right knee slides in and back. Left knee in. Exhale, right. Left. And right. Now we're going to go a little faster. Here we go. In one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And take your knees down. Take your arms up. Inhaling and exhale. Take your hand to your heart. So you're going to walk back on your knees. You step your left foot forward so that your toes and your knees. When you look up at your left knee, your left knee is not going to be collapsing inwards or opening out the side. Anchor through the balls of the feet, the outside edge of the heel, just like we practiced in the introduction. And then you're going to slowly 
If you need to, if you have, need to have more space for sliding, you can step your left foot further back down on the mat. And then you slide your right leg out. Good. And then you slowly slide your right leg in. Take your right leg down, bend both knees. Slow roll up, inhaling. Exhale, taking your fingertips down. Both toes point forward. Slide it out. Good, pull up from the core. Slide it in and slowly rise up. Good. And again, taking your fingertips down, toes pointing forward. Slide it out. You can keep your fingertips down here as you slide your right knee in. Slide it out, slide your right knee in. Rolling up, yeah, so that's an option. Or you're keeping the arms forward. And then you slowly, toes are pointing forward, anchor that front foot. Really need to anchor it, balls of the feet, toes all active, sliding down. Good, sliding up. Inhale to come down. Exhale. Inhale to come down. Anchor that foot. Anchor that standing leg. Exhale to come up. Inhale and we hold. Exhale to come up. Good. Inhale and we hold. Maybe the arms come up by the ears. Good. Bring the arms forward. Then exhale to come up. Inhale slowly sliding it forward. Arms up by the ear maybe. Bring the arms forward. And coming up, running arms maybe. Here we go. So as your right leg comes back, the right arm comes forward or other way around. Good. Whichever way that you feel, you're running. Good. So you either take your hands on top of the thighs here, your hands onto the floor, right? Or running arms. And inhale, hold, exhale, pull up. Inhale, hold, exhale, pull up. Last one. Inhale, hold, exhale, pull up. Turn to face forward, right? And then just like we did with the right side, my left toe is pointing forward. My left toes are pointing forward. I'm going to turn my left toe slightly out to the side, like about five degrees or so, yeah? So it's not completely out. It's not completely straight because my knee is collapsing inwards. So slightly out, just enough so that I can feel that my knee is in line with my big toe, okay? Might be different for everybody. So, and then I take my hands onto my thigh, I slide my right leg out and I bring it in. Lift up the right heel so there's less pressure on the left knee, yeah? So we slide the right foot out, heel up, and we bring it in. Inhaling. Keeping your left heel really anchored. Exhale, bring it in. So let the power come from that standing leg. Inhale, sliding. Exhale, pulling up. Inhale, slide. Exhale, pull up. Maybe we use running arms. Inhale, good. So this is a skating movement. Exhale. You want to hold slightly. You press the heel into the mat to come up. We inhale, we open it up. Exhale, press the heel to come up. You want to keep that right heel up, but you want to anchor the left heel in. Last two. Last three. Good. And then we slowly come up. We turn back to face forward. Toes are pointing forward. Hands on top of the thighs. Coming down. Sliding up. Maybe running arms. Maybe arms on the thighs. Maybe arms down to the mat. Here we go. Keeping your inner thighs connecting towards each other. And one, two, good, three, and four. Step onto your mat and feel the feet. I don't know about you, but my heart rate is definitely up. And then we're going to slowly step it back, just behind the mat. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, diving forward. Inhale. Take a halfway lift, roll the shoulders on the back. Exhale, take a forward fold. Taking your hands now on your mat again, right? So the hands are forward of the shoulders, rock forward, lift up the heels, look up into the belly, press up into the arms. And you really want to lean forward into the hands so that you can slide your feet out to the side. Good. You're going to slide your right knee to the opposite elbow. 
and bring it back. Left knee to the opposite elbow. Bring it back. Right knee slides, back. Left knee slides, back. And then we're gonna go a little faster. So one, one, two, get it to touch, two, three, get them to meet, four, four. Really twist from the torso, twist from the hips. Keep going, keep going. We're gonna keep going until I can't. Here we go. Five, five, four, four, three, three, two, two, one, and one. Take your knees down onto your mat. Take the arms over the head. Inhale. Good. Exhale. Take the arms down. Walk slightly forward, a little bit further onto the mat. Inhale, rising up. Exhale. We'll sit back on the heels. Lifting up with the arms. Inhale. Exhale. Take a child's pose. Roll the shoulders in the back. Feel the hips heavy. Inhale here. Exhale. Now, if you feel like you've got tension in the wrists from all the work on the arms, you can counter stretch your wrists by just gently turning your fingertips towards you with the palms facing up, right? And just gently pressing the knuckles down into the floor. You don't want to press down too hard. You don't want to overstretch your wrists either. Good. And then maybe just give your wrists a good squeeze just to get the blood flow going to the wrists a little bit more neutrally. Good. And then from here, you're going to come up into kneeling, reaching the arms over the head. And then taking the arm, right arm comes down. Your knees are slightly apart, so I'm gonna actually turn to face you. So my knees are hip distance apart. I take my arms over the head, I inhale. Take the right arm down, good. I exhale and I just side bend over to the right. I can take my hand down for support. I can support it onto my standing leg. Roll your body forward. Maybe slowly roll up to come back into kneeling. Now the right arm is gonna come up. The right shoulder comes down. Reach the left arm by your thigh. Inhale here. And exhale and just reach over and side bend over to the left. And then you roll your body forward. Roll your body forward. And then you come up. Now you come down onto your heels. So if this feels okay for you. If you have very sensitive knees, and this is too much to be in kneeling, you can roll up a blanket and place it just behind your knees so that you're not sitting completely on your heels but slightly above and therefore your knees are not fully stretched. If this is too much, you can also come out of kneeling and just come into one leg in front of the other in a Sukhasana pose as we do the same thing. So wherever you are here, we inhale, we exhale, take your right fingertips down and then you slide your arms over the head. And then again, you roll your body forward, maybe slowly roll up. And then your left hand is gonna come up, right arm comes up here. Slide your left arm up and keep your right hip down on your heel. So you don't wanna be going this way, but you want both hips nice and heavy and you feel the connection between the hips and the heels and the shoulders are not shrugged all the way up to the ears, maybe down on the back. Good, so just reach. And then you roll your body forward. Good. Reach the arms behind you and then slowly come up. You roll the shoulders back. And then you reach behind you with the fingertips back and you just lift up the heart and draw the shoulder blades towards each other to open up the front of the chest and the shoulders because we've been doing a lot of this movement so it's nice to end with the opposite movement here. And then you raise the hands up. Okay, so we open up the chest 
by opening up the palm of the hands. And then we reach back, they reach the hands back towards each other, back the hands reach. And then we just twist from the wrist, okay? So just rotate the wrists to bring the palm of the hands to face each other. And then you reach them towards each other and then maybe you interlace the arms. And if they don't interlace, that's fine. Just keep them there. And if they interlace, you can reach the arms away from the shoulders. And we inhale, good. And we exhale and we lift up through the heart. We lift up through the heart and we draw the arms away from the back. So I'll turn again. So we're here, roll the shoulders back and we lift the heart forward and we lift the arms away from the back. Good, and then slowly release, slowly release the arms. And if you have time to just lay yourself out for a few minutes, that's where the magic happens, right? When you're relaxed and you allow all the juices to flow into their places. So I hope you enjoyed this kind of cardiovascular full body practice with our socks on and hope to see you again soon.